Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, we're going to be talking about the excellent LAPG Atlas, their one size fits most Molly plate carry group. Before we get into that, if you want to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, all that sort of stuff helps out the channel out quite a bit. And also, if you want to go ahead and comment down below what I should add to this plate carrier group, whatever it can be, it can be funny or anything like that. Uh, but on top of that, I do want to say that this plate carrier was sent out to me by LA Police Gear. On top of them sending it out, I also do have affiliate links with them. So if you use my link to buy anything, I make like 10% off of it. So I don't want that to influence anybody into purchasing this plate carry group because again, I don't need your money. That is not how I make money on YouTube. That's not how I want to run everything. Uh, but I do have those links if somebody was interested in picking them up. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about what the plate carrier actually is. A little bit about the setup, although the setup is not as important for me. Uh, currently, this is just set up in more of a range way. So I only have a triple placard up front here. So I have three mag pouches up front. Uh, I don't remember the name of the placard. It is Molly woven into the plate carrier itself. So on my first panel, I have any sort of medical tools, markers, uh, lights, anything like that. It's more of a utility pouch. And then the other two are for magazines. In this case, I'm running a Magpul and a Unimag that I'm testing out that can run a bunch of different calibers. But as its name would suggest, it is laser cut Molly basically all the way around. So including on the Cumberbund, you do have Molly on the front, back, sides, and on the top of the front and back you have, it's not really laser cut Molly, it's more like standard Molly, but it's Molly Velcro combo so if you want to put patches or anything else in this uh, that's just strictly velcro or woven through with patches or something like that you can do that on the front and back for me personally uh, I don't really like that all that much just because the exterior molly does add more weight doesn't look quite as clean and I don't really add patches or anything to my plate carriers but if it is something that you guys do that feature is there now that being said because this is completely laser cut molly what that means is basically you have as little extra material as you need versus having a base layer and then having to thread molly on top of that or sew molly on top of that. It's all integrated into the material. Laser cut looks very, very clean. So because of that, this entire plate carrier naked without anything on it is about 37 ounces or so. Now I have an older plate carrier that I picked up for about 80 bucks a couple years ago off of eBay. It was like an eBay special, some Chinese really cheap manufactured uh, plate carrier group. And that weighed about 54 ounces. So the difference from, from about two plus pounds to about three plus pounds. So for what it is for being a plate carrier that can mount things on all different sides, the base plate carrier itself is only slightly heavier than some of your slickster style plate carrier groups and of course because of the way the cummerbund is set up we'll talk about this in a minute as well you can also switch out the cummerbund to something that is very very minimalistic and you can save an extra 10 or 12 ounces right there Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to take the cummerbund off. It's very easy. Unstrap it from the front, and then you can literally just pull it out from either side. It can be a little tight to feed all the way through here, and you can loosen it up by removing this on the back, but the whole thing should just pull right out. So here's the cummerbund all by itself. You can see that it is entirely laser cut molly on the uh, outside. You can adjust the length in the back here and also by how tight you make it in the front with your Velcro. Now flipping it over to the inside here, it is mostly slick of course, but it also does come with your plate pockets. These are for six by six inch plate pockets as well. Uh, now what's cool about them is right now they're completely empty. Of course, I don't have anything in them, but they do also have Velcro on the inside. So that means if you weren't planning on using these four uh, side plates, which I do not have right now, you could actually stick some sort of Velcro insert in here and run medical mags, uh, radios, something else in your actual cummerbund without having to thread something molly on the outside so you could actually keep something a lot tighter to you uh, whether that's medical you know some other tools or other things so that is again on both sides here so you do have velcro on the inside 
so you can theoretically attach more stuff to it and keep it a little more slick, a little more clean looking. Now moving on to just the back panel itself. It is of course laser cut molly for the bottom like seven or eight rows. And then on the top you have the kind of exterior molly. It's a little heavy, a little more bulky. Uh, that is also Velcro. So if you wanted to throw whatever sort of patches or thread something into the top, for whatever reason, you totally could do that. Uh, now let's go ahead and take the plate out. Very easy, so you have a single Velcro strap that is has a ton of Velcro room right here. And then you pull out your, in this case, this is a level four uh, plate, polyurethane and ceramic from, what is it, uh, Battlesteel Direct. They have a, a pretty good product at an excellent price. It is about a six pound plate, level four, so it will stop armor penetrating rounds, basically everything. Uh, it is also neutral weight for water, so it won't drown you if you accidentally fall into water with it. On the front, very similar. Again, we do have my three plate placard that has held together very well, even though it is very cheap. Again, medical tools and then two mags, because again, this is a complete range setup, so I don't need to throw a ton of weight on it right now. I'm not running uh, really a ton of medical on there. I could be throwing on like uh, some radios, extra mags and other stuff, and I will be adding stuff to it as more time goes on. Uh, and again, you have that Velcro Molly up top, which again, I'm not really using. The plate should come out basically the exact same way. You do have an extra thing that holds down your front placard. So basically, if you lift this up, this right here is where you attach your cummerbund up front. So basically how tight you pack your cummerbund up top will dictate the overall tightness of your entire setup. I usually run it fairly tight. So anyway, pull this up, flip it over again. Pull this off just like the back panel. I am still running the level four battle steel. These are a very nicely curved plate. It's just a single curve, 10 by 12, again, about six pounds. I should mention that the backing material is a semi soft material. So it has a, not rigid, but it does have a little bit of form to it. Uh, and so it works quite well. It also has a really good amount of padding. It's probably about a quarter inch thick on the back. Very, very comfy to hold for long periods of time. The only thing that this plate is really missing on the interior panels here is going to be some sort of like ventilation. So I live in the Pacific Northwest. It's not really all that hot. Uh, it is heading into summertime, so I probably will be missing some of that ventilation. Uh, it is fairly slick, so this does kind of just stick to whatever you're wearing. Um, so it doesn't really breathe all that well. So you are going to sweat more with this than you would with something that has offsets for extra ventilation and that sort of thing. Though again, keep in mind that Anytime you add more material, you're adding weight and size. So uh, pros and cons to that. In my current situation, I prefer a slick back to big pads on it, which might make it a little bit more comfy. But again, for me, not that big of a deal. I should mention that it also did come with buckles in the ends here that you could also tighten down if you thought that the Velcro was not quite enough. The Velcro has been just fine in my opinion. So I removed those immediately because I just don't need them. Now, it does come with your shoulder straps. So your big shoulder pads up here are very, very comfy and they are a quick detach design somewhat. I wouldn't really call it quick. So if you reach your fingers into this panel right here, you can push down on a buckle and pull them out like this. They are adjustable. I have them, as you can probably tell, adjusted pretty short. I'm only about 5'9", so I need to have them basically as closed as I can or as short as I can. Uh, to make sure that the front plate sits up high enough on me that it's covering all of my vital organs and not hanging down super low. So we'll go ahead and do it just to demonstrate, but I have put the cummerbund back on. So again, just to make it as tight as you want, you just slap these guys together. You can make them a little tighter, make them overlap a little bit, still gonna hold on just fine. And then there is your plate carrier completely set up. Now, again, if we move on up here to the externals, if I was to add, say, more medical or radios or even water, like a hydration pack on the back, you can totally add a ton of stuff to this without, without overloading the plate carrier. You have very nice wide shoulder pads that are going to displace a lot of that pressure. Uh, so this has been very comfy to wear. I should say that with the two level four plates, two magazines and some medicals and accessories with the plate carrier, this entire setup fully loaded is about 17 pounds. That is very, very lightweight. You could easily make this 25 to 30 pounds very, very quickly by adding on backpacks, extra stuff on both sides, uh, all sorts of fun stuff. You could definitely load this up to about 30 pounds and it would still be very comfortable 
Though in my current situation, I carry two on the plate carrier, one on the belt, one in the gun for a total of 420 rounds. Even for a range day, that's about a $100 range day, so it's still quite expensive. Uh, so I don't really load this guy down with magazines, as again, this is more of just a range setup right now, just to get some practice, though I will be building more out. Now, for adding comms and other things, if you need to be routing wires up and down, you do of course have this Molly up here that you can use, and you also have Molly webbing or kind of Molly esque some elastic material here that you can be weaving through. So, for instance, if I had a radio on this front pouch here, you could weave your antennas up through here, and then you could weave your water supply if you had a water pack on the back through the plate carrier on the front side. So, there is plenty of ways to make this work for you, especially if you're using your interior panels here that you can put a ton of stuff on this plate carrier, but again, you don't have to. You totally can really load this guy up, but because it already is a fairly slim, lightweight design with the really nice laser cut molly everywhere, you don't need to do it. So it's almost a little bit of a hybrid carrier between a really heavy carrier that's just meant to be loaded down with a ton of stuff and something that's not meant to carry that much like a Slickster, because again, the overall carrier only weighs about 36, 37 ounces, so you're not sacrificing a whole lot of slickness and you are gaining a ton of modularity. And you can really scale this up to hold a ton of stuff or you can scale it down to something like this, which is incredibly simple. Uh, very, very simple to do, inexpensive mag pouch. This entire setup right here with the plate carrier is about 100 bucks right now, which is very, very good. And it's a good way to get started and you can always add on as time goes on. So through the magic of editing, I now have the plate carrier group mostly installed. So basically you just tighten the cummerbund up front and then tighten the other side. I usually take off both sides to get it on, though you don't really have to do that. And then I make sure that it's nice and snug, tuck it together, and that's all you need to do. So right now, jumping around, moving left to right, it is very, very tight to your body. While being very comfortable, uh, I've worn this for, well, I should say I've had this. They sent it to me back in January and I've been testing it ever since then. And I'll probably have been showing you guys a lot of extra footage of, of stuff that I've done with this flight carrier. Uh, obviously in the snow, rain, it is Western Washington, so you do get a ton of rain. Uh, it has been extremely comfortable. And I would say that for the time that I've had it, I've probably spent several days living in the plate carrier. Uh, well, actually, I should say more than that. Probably about four or five days of total time actually being in this plate carrier, whether that's walking around, whether that's driving. And it has performed exceptionally well in all of those circumstances. And again, I don't have a ton of experience with plate carriers, so I'm not going to say I'm the most knowledgeable person when it comes to that sort of thing. So as you can see, the drag handle does work. Not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it does work. But I can say with a good degree of certainty that this one has been very durable and very capable. And again, right now I'm more of just playing around and seeing what I actually want to do with the plate carrier in the future. So there will be more setup and more stuff on this eventually because of course there is a ton of upward mobility when you have a plate carrier like this because you have a ton of room to put on basically whatever you want. So now if we're gonna talk about how it is to use a plate carrier. Basically all plate carriers kind of suck to use just because they are going to add weight, they're going to add complexity, they make everything work a little bit worse. So for instance in the intro you'll see a lot of shooting with this. This is a Roscoe 12.5 upper Vortex Strike Eagle Gen 2, the 1 to 8 version, on a worn 193 mount, which is an excellent mount, uh, also an excellent optic as well in my opinion, probably the best LPVO for under $500 on the market. But uh, using this with the higher mount allows you to still get a good head position even with a plate carry on it. I do generally tend to run the stock or the brace in this in this case one click forward just because I do have extra padding here that I kind of have to work around and that's just kind of a thing with all plate carriers is you're kind of going to kind of going to have to get used to working around it. Now, a lot of the times, depending on what I'm doing, I can run my sling on the underside of my arm and keep it nice and tight and so that the gun does not flop around a ton and it kind of just sits really tight to the plate carrier itself. But if I need to bring it up, I can still do so and I still have a good head position, can do it very quickly. 
Now, if you have to do more aggressive movements like going prone or moving around cover, all that sort of stuff, you're going to want to go ahead and just swim out of your sling. Now, in this case, I am running the Grove Tech Sentinel, which is still one of the best slings. It has a tapered front and back on the padded section, so it does not get caught up on the gear. So you can kind of just slide it back and forth without it getting stopped anywhere, which is really nice. So yes, shooting and moving with a plate carrier is a little bit more difficult and is something that you do need to practice with. Um, if you have to use your plate carrier in a real situation and it's the first time you've ever really put it on and you, you're trying to find a good head position so you can see through your optic, especially if you're using something like an LPVO, it's going to be a really bad time for you. So you're going to need to go out there and practice with it. And you can do a lot of dry fire with it. I have worked in a ton of dry fire with plate carriers. About half my plate, about half of my dry fire, which is about four to five hours a week, is in kit and about half of it is just playing around with the gun, pointing at light switches and stuff like that. So comfort can be one of the more tricky things to talk about when you're talking about plate carriers because of course everybody is built a little bit differently. You know, I'm a little bit on the heavy side, so I have my own set of problems when wearing kit. But if you're on the lighter side of things, you have your own personal set of problems with different kit that you wear. Uh, of course, as you can see, while driving or doing normal things, currently we're in my ST right now, which has fairly aggressively bolstered seats. I'm sitting very comfortably. It's actually almost more comfy than the regular seats themselves because you get that nice backing that you can kind of lay against. Um, overall, though, they do market it as their one size fits most, and I would agree with that. Basically, everyone that's worn it uh, can make it fit for them because it is adjustable in the front and back, and you do get a good amount of adjustability in the shoulders. Though, if you're like really, really short or really, really tall, you're probably gonna run out of adjustment, so that would be the one thing I would say about it. If you do have some very special body dynamics that are different than basically everybody else, you might wanna look into something that's more tailored made for something uh, like you. So right now I am wearing it exactly as you saw it before. I have the two full mags up front. I have the mini tourniquet, uh, tools, marker, lights, whatever else in this pouch right here. And then I'm actually also appendix carrying right now my Glock 17 while sitting down and it's very comfy. So you can kit this out of course to have a lot more stuff. Currently my back and sides are completely slick. Um, because it is, of course, a lightweight plate carrier, even though it is designed to hold a lot of weight, that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to throw everything onto it. Now, because it's slick in the back, this is very comfy to drive around in. This is very comfy to sit down and lean back up against something. But the more stuff you throw on your back, one, of course, obviously, the more weight it is. Maybe it'll balance out the front if you have a ton of stuff on the front. I currently don't, so it's fairly lightweight. But... The more stuff you throw on the back, the less comfy it is going to be like sitting down, driving or anything like that if you actually have to go somewhere rather than just standing on a flat range. And of course, the more stuff on your sides, kind of the same thing. Like this is, of course, a manual because they only come in manual. So if you need to do any shifting or anything like that, the more garbage you have on you, the harder it's going to be to do normal day to day sort of tasks. So again, kind of like I mentioned in the beginning, the overall build design and comfort, while the only thing that it's really missing is some sort of ventilation, so like right now it's about 70 degrees outside and I have the AC on inside the car because this will get very, very hot. And overall, the comfort is basically excellent if only lacking in a few key features. It does come with these very nice shoulder pads, which do work. The material itself is very nice. It's durable enough for everything that I've done for it. And again, I've spent days wearing this plate carrier, not consecutively, but days wearing this plate carrier in total and it has functioned basically flawlessly. So guys, at the end of the day, no pun intended, I do think that this is basically the best plate carrier on the market for the money. Now take that with a grain of salt as my experience with plate carriers is basically extremely cheap, terrible plate carriers uh, to this one here, which is more of not really a mid-range, it's still definitely in the budget tier of price, but in terms of features and capabilities can basically do anything that you want it to do, whether it's a very minimalistic range setup or you want to add on more comms, medical, more 
mags, more mags for pistols, whatever else sort of admin stuff that you need, you can totally do that with this plate carrier. Now, if I haven't mentioned it already, I believe that it is made in Vietnam or the Philippines, I believe. It is not an American-made product, unfortunately, but that is kind of what you get into in this price range. For an American-made product with all of these features, you're looking at about $200 to $250 in terms of price. On top of that, I do want to say that there's a lot of other people, more knowledgeable people uh, than me about plate carriers and actually using them and, and having more time with them than I have that I've done videos on this plate carrier. So I would recommend you check them out like Mr. Guns and Gear and some other people uh, that really high, highly recommend these plate carriers. And most of these people I would believe are at least mostly unbiased as I believe myself is as well as I do really enjoy the product and I use it a ton. I will be picking up a second one of these. They also make them in multicam. Unfortunately, the multicam version is like $100 while these are in the $80 price range, though there's basically always uh, 10 to 15 percent off the other day they were actually 20 percent off and i could have picked another one up for about 60 dollars but anyways for that 60 to 80 dollar price range um again probably the best plate carrier on the market for that money i don't really think it can be beaten in that price range if you guys are interested in that sort of thing feel free to uh, comment down below ask me questions about it if you need help uh, with anything like that or if you guys think there's a better plate carrier out there than this than the lupg atlas uh for the money go ahead and let me know but that is about it for the video guys thank you so much for watching hope you all enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one peace off